When you put these together in your vise, you want the bottoms even and the rabbits together like that. If you put them in the vise and this comes apart, then get the clamp. When you put the clamp on, don't put it here because that's where you're going to stand. So put it on this side. And that will tighten those together. Then you want to sand till so this is the same size and there's no bump here. Doesn't matter if there's a little bump in the center, but these are important that that's the same and that's the same. When you're sanding, your sanding block is too big to fit in this part right here. But you can sand this part and you can sand this part. To get in that part, get one of the files and use that as your sanding block. That will sand the center part. So you're trying to get rid of, make it smooth, and it needs to be flat here and flat here. Once it's flat in both spots, bring it to me. I will check that they're the same size, and then I will give you 220 grit. This is the side that you sand with 220 grit. Don't sand anything else. Just sand the side with your name on it. Don't sand the rabbit, just that side. So just sand this side until it's smooth. If you don't feel any rough stuff, please hand this in before you stain. There might be stain on the table. So you don't want to put this that side down because we do not want stain on this side. So put that rabbit side down while you're staining one of them. See if there's any stain left in the rag first. If not, a little dip. Don't drip it. Just stain. You do not have to stain the rabbits. You just stain the side that has your name on it. Don't put that down on the table. Put it down like that. So only put the stained side down on the table when you're doing your other piece. When you're done with this table, go to this table and dry them off. If you get a little stain on the side, that's fine, but this is the only part you need to stain. Not the rabbits, just those two sides. When you put it in the cabinet, put these two sides up. Thank you.